hi all good morning good afternoon or good evening based on whenever you are seeing this my name is Saurav Dhani and in this particular video we'll talk about uh, how do you set default location for your SQL Server database files so let's start with why we need to set this uh, setting so the default path that is uh, defined du during installation that by default points to the windows install directory or wherever you have chosen to install SQL Server and you can change it during installation but if you forgot then you can use this video to set those uh, details it also helps you to manage files into different drives or directory based on how you want to uh, keep your files in different directories or maybe in different drives by placing them into different directories or different drive it makes it easy to review uh, the sizes of those files it also makes it easier to see how many databases are there which database file is big and small and the best thing that I found out while after setting this is that it makes it easy uh, while you are trying to restore a database you don't have to change the path every time uh, and, and things like that so to you know to perform these steps you will require SQL Server Management Studio if you don't have it uh, or if you don't have it installed or you don't know how to install it refer to the video in the same playlist there's a video about it so let's start and log into your SQL Server Management Studio the first thing that you'll notice in your SQL uh, Server Management Studio is your server name right click on that and click on properties once you go into properties there are multiple pages available uh, to set this setting we need to use database setting page in the database setting page if you come down you'll see these database default location which is right now set to my install directory of SQL Server so just for demo purposes I'll create three folders here let's say my data where I want to place all my data files for my databases and then a log where I want to store all the log files for my database and the last is backup the path where I want to look uh, whenever I say restore a database so the the folder backup will be uh, referred whenever you try to restore a backup so just for this demo I'll place this file into this so that we can use it later so let's set these paths into our settings before we started I want to store all my data files into my T drive database demo and data okay and then for my log file I want to use the folder called log and for my backup I want to use the folder backup you don't have to set it like this you should be setting it based on how you need it maybe into different directories once you have set all these three parameters click OK and as we have already placed the backup in this we'll just try to restore uh, the backup and see what happens so when you go into database node and say restore database we'll choose device and when I click on it and click add it should by default point to my folder which I have set into my configuration which is D database demo backup so it makes it easy that I don't have to change this path every time whenever I'm trying to look on it where my backup is placed and then choose it so it makes it easy the other thing that you'll notice is when you click on this and select OK the database files are by default set to the location where it is actually coming from but this path will be reflecting our new settings which is it not reflecting right now and the reason is that we haven't restarted our SQL Server so once you change those settings restart your SQL Server so that the, the settings get updated and whenever you try to use uh, whenever you try to restore a database and choose the path okay sample click OK go to file section 
if you see the default path or restore path is set from where this backup was taken but if you click on this relocate all these files and there is a separate video which talks about it what they do the the data file folder is actually set where I wanted it it will automatically now change it to the database demo so with that that makes it easier for you to set those settings and uh, define your path or directory where you want to save these files or pick the files from during restore so let me know your views as comment to this video if you'd like me to talk about any specific topic about uh, dynamics nav business central please add that into the comments and i'll try to make it possible as soon as i can thank you for watching and see you next time